According to the latest research, the Hurt Report, it's a fantastic name, huh? 98% of motorcyclists who are involved in accidents sustain injuries. 98%. That's a big number. And when you think about it, it, it makes sense. When you're riding a motorcycle, you don't have the protection of a 3,000 pound cage like you do in a car. You're out there exposed to the elements and exposed to a vehicle that hits you. Now, motorcycle accidents are quite different from other forms of accidents such as pedestrian accidents or indeed car accidents themselves. So we really need to take a deep dive into the issues that you need to understand if you've been involved in a motorcycle accident. The first piece that I want to talk about is the issue of visibility. Research shows that a good chunk of the motorists who hit motorcycles say, I never saw the guy. And that same research also shows that motorists who strike motorcycles on the roadway say they had a hard time judging the speed that the motorcycle was traveling at. So we have two issues concerning visibility uh, and those are foundational elements when it comes to exploring how a motorcycle accident occurred. Another piece of the puzzle that you need to take into account are the fact that witnesses suffer from the same difficulty or the same misapprehension in terms of the speed that a motorcycle is moving at prior to and at the time of collision. So when it comes time to having a witness properly interviewed, you need to ensure that the investigator who's been hired by your lawyer has the skill and has the experience to put the speed of the motorcycle into a proper context as far as getting that witness statement is concerned. Now, let's take it a step further. Let's say that you're going to take your motorcycle accident case to trial. What you need to understand is that there is a bias out there, a social bias, an anti-motorcycle bias that needs to be taken into account. The fact of the matter is that there are a number of people out there and who might be on a jury who think that motorcyclists are renegades who don't abide by the rules of the law. What does that tell you? That tells you that if you're going to take your motorcycle case to trial, you need to make sure that case is properly prepared, properly put together, and that the lawyer who is handling your case has got it down pat. So, if you're going to get properly compensated, your case needs to be ready to go to trial. But, is it really ready? Find out more. Read my special report on motorcycle accidents.